<coughs> this thing on? Oh well. Oh god. Oh! Yeah! There's a part two for this. It's been... I think... Several months since I did the first part. But anyways, as if I remember, we went to Winnie the Pooh's dream. You know who Winnie the Pooh is. By the way, this is a Let's Play Part 2 of Piglet's Big Game. Which I like to call it Piglet's Big Movie, the game. Because usually, if there's a movie adaptation, there's a game. They should call it that. But I don't know why THQ and fellows, they call this game. This time, what we're going to do is that we're going to go to Rue's dream, actually, as you can see. See? Rue's dream. So, there still might be lagging, because, you know. Also, the reason why I never did this for a while is because I had to have my laptop screen fixed. But, that's another story. Okay, so anyways, so... What's Rue dreaming about? <laughs> wow. He is dreaming about having a nightmare that he wants to have Pooh, I mean Piglet, get his soccer ball back. Oh, I should have done this during the World Cup so it would fit, but unfortunately my laptop screen has been broken. So, yeah. It's a thing. What a blowout for Brazil during the World Cup. <laughs> I'm sorry. But, that's the thing. They just had it until Neymar Jr. was hurt. Remember, because this is Piglet's big game. <coughs> you have to get cookies. You got no choice. Let's talk to Kanga. Would you do me a favor and find Rue for me? Right. Isn't that what I was supposed to do? Let's check my hearts in order to check it. Alright, how much cookies do I need to change my so-called brave face. Same. No, no, no! I didn't mean to! I didn't mean to exchange my face yet. What was I supposed to? Do we go this way? Oh. It's closed. That's a huge door for a playroom. Makes me scared, to be honest. What the heck is this? What a cheap world. I never knew Rue lives in Paperland. So let's get the scissors. Look at that. Paperland. Barely even anything. I mean, it's all 2D except Piglet. In fact, this game is all 2D. I think. So we got some scissors. Let's move these crates out of the way. They're technically drawn on squares because they're cheap that way. This is paper land. I think. Do we use the shears to open this or scissors? Yes, we do! And unlike anything, like everything in the game, it doesn't uh, use the freaking uh, accurate sounds. So there's that right there. I don't know what it is. So. What is that? Cake? <gasps> Holy crap, we get to play as Tigger? Alright, so I'll deal with the cake first. We get the cookies. Because we need cookies. I want to scare those freaking monsters away. I want to scare Figment away. Come back here, cookie. Don't get out of here. I had cookies. Oh, that's the point thing said for a while. Oh. Their pencil's drawn. Where can I find an eraser? Is that the same thing too? Look at that, they almost look similar. Do I need an eraser? To help Tigger out? What the heck is this? Oh, I thought it was something you gotta push. What's in here? Nothing. Bravo. Johnny Bravo. What is the fence doing separating Tiggers and Piglets? Can you open it, Tigger? I remember seeing a pull tab over there. I better be real quiet like, like all the Heffalumps will get me. Oh, so you gotta play as Heffalumps. Alright, let's go. The reason why... Let's look at the Tigger's walking sound. It sounds pretty terrifying. Even more terrifying. 
So what you gotta do is that you gotta play as Tigger, so... So, uh, I forgot what's the select button. It's a pause button. What is it? I forgot. <laughs> to be honest, it's been hell of a while since I played this. Oh, it's backspace in the keyboard. So, purple's where I'm obviously at. Or orange. What the heck is that purple thing then? A mushroom? I need to get a mushroom. Oh god, not figment. Son of a- why do you keep on blocking that? Oh my god, there's figments everywhere. If you touch them, Tigger would scream or something. I forgot. But this terrifying, terrifying, terrifying noise would play. Ah, I'm already getting goosebumps. I already feel like a freaking wuss already. In fact, overall, I'm scared of this game. This is the part I hated playing as a kid. We play as Tigger because it's so terrifying. You gotta watch out. Like right there, there's half lumps. Look at that. I can't even get my cookies. Cause I am that, I am chicken. I am that of a chicken. Oh wait, you can't even get cookies if you're Tigger. Just gotta watch out for the blue half lump. Reminds me of Genie. Rip Robin Williams. Oh, there we go. Oh, thank God I'm back. I didn't want to deal with this hell. <laughs> Good job, Tigger. Come on, I want to play as Piglet again. So I can get over this. So I can scare those Heflops away. I'm going to scare Figment away. There we go. That's more like it. So this time it's... you got to press it at the same time, which makes it a little bit harder. I think on the end, last part, it's four instead of those. So let's fight Big Bit once again. Oh god. I always forget. <coughs> Keep on coughing because I feel hurt every time I talk. Oh yeah, I gotta get the cookies because when you play as Tigger, you can't even get cookies. All you just worry about is about the heflops and all that crap. Scary you. I don't want to get the cookies. Because of the heflops. The heflops are gonna get me. Cause... I just don't want to get cookies. Only Piglet does it. I see he can scare people unlike me. Hey! You know, if I ever see the bee in this stage, I'm gonna get very mad, because I hate dealing with the bee. I think, mostly when you guys play this game, you hate dealing with bees. Hate them in real life, too. Because this is Disney, I'm gonna talk something Disneyland related. I think I was in Disneyland once or something, and then I got stung by a bee, and my sister was making fun of the fact that me and my other sister got stung by a bee. And she quickly found out that he eventually got stung by one, actually. So let's scare the freaking Heflump. It barely even looked like a Heflump. This game, you know, if they were real, I would actually be scared. I don't know if I would be a brave, make brave faces like Piglet. Piglet, is that you? Help me! I'm locked in! Real? How can I open it? Mama has a- Oh my god, do I have to really go back there? Why didn't she just give the key earlier? Freaking Kega, I mean, she just said Rue's in the freaking lock. She, he's locked or something. Why couldn't you give me- she give me the key? I don't want to go back all the way there. Ridiculous much. Just listen to the walking sounds. Calm down. Hopefully there's no heflumps. But yeah, I still need an eraser. God damn it! The freaking heflump. Sorry. Die, you heflump! Turn into magic bottle! Cause I do not like you. Boom! Oh yeah, I took the scissors. So let's go back and talk to Kanga so I can get the 
freaking key she she could have gave me earlier. Wait, where's my key? Ah, <laughs> oh, I don't want to go up there. Scary. Kids' playrooms are scary. Speaking of scary, I thought. Of Come on, really? He's here? What the heck is he doing in Drew's playroom? Why out of all the places some random kangaroos, the little ones, playroom? I mean, why? It's just... It's like a pedo. It's going to Aldrin or something. But anyways... You know, it's funny. I love how the background is so flat. Hey, look, they copied the chair straight out of Blue's Clues and painted it green. Why is there two chairs? The other one for? Tigger? I remember watching the Winnie the Pooh films. Uh, you know, the Tigger movie, right? <laughs> Love that movie. So cute. You know? But... I liked it because, you know... It's cute. Crying out loud. I mean... Poor Tigger, all his family disappeared, and then all his friends just try hard just to make him happy. I love the message in that film. It's, and that freaking avalanche is one of the saddest parts I ever saw in the, in the pool movie, actually, to be honest. And I remember the part with Tigger and all that. I think he does most of the mistakes. Rabbit got pissed at him. And that's what I thought maybe Tigger could be there because I remember in that film too, uh, Tigger was... He was being... Rue was being with Tigger, I think. Yeah, they, they, they were like best friends. They had hung out. Especially the Kenny Loggins song. Wait, Kenny Loggins? I forgot. You know the guy who made... who sung Footloose, right? I forgot his name. But he made a song. I think in the VHS or the DVD that you can see it. Like they had the song like you made for the movie. My, it is sad. It's a nice song. I forgot what it's called though. That's how I remember the movie. Alright, so but now there's a, another heffalump. Just can't find it for some reason. There it is. Let's fight now. He's gonna win? I don't know, let's see. <laughs> That's why I hate playing on the computer. Wish I had a Game Boy player, but I'm using my laptop right now, actually. Oh God! I almost freaking uh got caught. Yeah. <laughs> Get him! How many bottles did I collect? I'm even curious. Alright, I got 16. And I still and I got 34 cookies. Alright, let's save Rue. And get over with this. Alright, Rue. Let's get you out of here. Oh, we're supposed to go in. <laughs> we're back into interior. Okay, so there's a ladder. Why is there a ladder? Oh yeah, this ball. My ball is stuck in that tree, and my ladder is broken. Maybe Eeyore has a... I'll try to find him. Alright, let's go find Eeyore. We've seen every character so far. Okay, so... There's a drum. Why do we need a drum? We got a... Car battle? No, I'm not gonna waste my cookies. Oh! That's where the eraser is. So I got 38, so 38 minus 38, I ain't gonna waste my freaking cookies yet. Should I? Nah, yeah, maybe if I get, maybe if I get, uh, Rue. Maybe by then I can find more cookies. So let's look for Eeyore now. Check my map first. So. Yeah, it might take a while. Cause I know this video already went 14 minutes. But, what do you expect? 14 goddamn long minutes. <coughs> uh, 
so I got nothing else to say, but speaking of Hef Lumps, there was just I think there was a Hef Lump song in the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Never watched the film, but I saw a part of it in music. To me it's kinda almost as terrifying as the pink elephants from Dumbo. I mean, if you're ever a Disney fan or if you at least watched Dumbo, you got to admit. That song, no way. Is it funny? What? Is it supposed to be funny or something? Now this part's hell. I gotta. I think I gotta try to. If I hear dings, that means I gotta try to time the flowers. Cause I'm not really good at playing games that involve you uh, doing stuff, but. It involves in a very slow speed. Especially if the freaking graphics are so confusing that it just blocks you. Oh god, not the bee! A lot of them! I'm scared! I freaking hate the bees! <laughs> I better get this right. I better get this right. I already got the goosebumps, to be honest. I have goosebumps right now, to be honest. Yes. I know I'm stuttering or I have being social or having social anxiety for some reason but I'm not kidding I can't even finish a sentence because the freaking bee half looks just scare me just come on just take me to take Eeyore already I don't want to deal with them so after you get all the half lumps then guess what the beehives are blue please there be something weaker than them. I don't want to deal with them again. Oh, thank God we're back to the peaceful music. You know that music when you go to the candy world? You're trying to get poo out of the, the thing. You know, just watch the first part or just try to remember if or something if you. And you know what? Let me recap it. So, like, Poo, he was stuck in honey and you gotta help him. You gotta get him honey. You know, in a dream, right? Where you gotta get honey for Poo. So there's Eeyore, so let's talk to him. Damn it, he's sleeping. How am I supposed to wake him up? Oh, yeah, drum! He just walked through him. What the hell? Oh, well. This game doesn't defy logic at all, anyways. Take one from my house nearby. It is inside. What the hell's wrong with you, Eeyore? Why do I need to take wood from your house? Depressing little fudge. Okay, so now Figment's there. So let's do a Figment battle. I'm kind of starting to get this uh, keyboard pattern kind of memorized. Because, you know, if you play in the game, there's a D-pad and there's a switch, so I'm kind of getting it memorized. I think there's a trick where you can escape the battle, but I forgot how. Uh, I love how the freaking figment thing looking thing is doing like pie card, P card, whatever his name is, you know, in Star Trek Next Generation. Doing a face palm. Or it's like that one Japanese meme, you know, the one with the couples and you're under the umbrellas. Usually Everybody these days, they do it with, like, uh, anime references. So, yeah. There's a mushroom. What does this do? What the fuck? What did that even do? Why is there a mushroom there? In the first place. Is it this part? I hate this part. God damn it, I hate this part. You gotta try to get all the mushrooms. Before time runs out. Oh, I made it! Thank God. It's not his house. What you gonna open? What you gonna take Eeyore's wood from his house? By doing a freaking time thing. So is that how Eeyore gets his wood or rebuilds them? He gotta keep on timing himself. He's like, I'm gonna go there. But if it was for Eeyore, he would be pretty fast, to be honest. What did I even do? I don't even understand why that's there. I hope you 
go. Apparently, I'm curious how many cookies I got, so... 50. What does this do? Oh, I can't put it up. Whoop! <laughs> I love this. What the f- He was just in front of me, waiting for me?! Oh, I can't even explain! It's- I just can't. Why was he there in the first place? This game's starting to scare me now. I just don't know why, it's just scaring me. I mean, scaring me like Five Nights at Freddy's scaring me. I mean, everything just happens all out of random all of a sudden. I mean, why, why is it like that? The freaking enemies are scary. I mean, they just pop out of nowhere like earlier. What the hell? And I'm not kidding, I am in goosebumps. That's how much of a pussy I am. Yeah. <coughs> I am so chicken. Like right now. Look at that. Just out of random. I, I, I just can't explain. Why does THQ think that this game... Just... Freaking... Really? Come on. Is this a way to get kids your game? Make it terrifying? I never watched a movie, but I don't think it's that terrifying. God. This game even scares me more than the Baxin and Winnie the Pooh. The movie. The new one. Remember? The Baxin? Why am I here? I forgot where am I? I lost track. Because this game scares me so much that I can't even keep track where I'm going. Hope I'm in the right direction. Freaking Imagine that the backs in moving this game. This is even before the Winnie the Pooh the movie, but if they made a game like this again for the DS or 3DS <coughs> Well, THQ doesn't exist anymore, but if they at least make a decent game and put the backs in on it? Oh, crap my pants. That's scary. This game's scary. It's like it's... Maybe the reason why it's lagging is because I, I hate... I, I'm scared of this game for no reason. Alright, so... I'm gonna waste my money and these cookies for another brave face because this is how much a wuss I am. Ah! <laughs> That would be- that would actually scare me, to be honest. If I see Piglet or somebody like that... You know that in the Guinness World Book of World Records, right? There's a guy in Uganda... No, not Uganda, uh, Angola. His mouth is so wide... That... Kind of, it reminds me of that. So... I fixed the ladder. And now I get this soccer ball. So... What do we do now? What the fuck? What is that? What the hell is that? Oh god! It's a freaking door! What the hell? I don't think I'm ready for this. I gotta scare a door just for a soccer ball and that door's already terrifying! Enough. Not if I even got scared even more. Oh. Ah! The end. Oh god. I fucking hate this. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, heart attack. Heart attack, come on, I got this. Why is there so many of them? What is this, bonkers? Oh yeah, there's gonna be another one, because it's too easy. As soon as I get another one, she's another one. Still love the cartoony design of it, but... Mm. 
Why you let them pop out of nowhere? nowhere? I did fight three of them. God. I like Pooh's dream better. You're awfully brave to face those woozles. So there. There you go. Piglet had the courage to get the soccer ball to Roo back. I don't know. This is just... How is this in moment? How could Piglet be brave in this? If this ever happened to me, I would be scared to be honest. I don't know why. Just that I can't be brave. This game doesn't even teach you how to be brave. It just scares you even more. Of course, everybody in life has uh, fear, but this is not a way to show your fear, especially to children like. Three or four year olds playing this, this would scare them. To be honest. But that's Rue's dream. Very terrifying to me. I don't know about you guys. But yeah, well this Koi Cyrano. I guess oh See you guys next time for part 3, Eeyore's Dream. This time it better not be hard, not even more terrifying than Rouge Dream, because I want to go to another game. I can't take this anymore. Yeah, I'm a wuss, so yeah, deal with it.